Welcome back everyone to uh, Coins, Rolls, and Varieties. Uh, JW here. Uh, we're going to be working on s episode two of uh, this half dollar box. So we haven't found any silver yet in the first ten rolls, but I forgot to mention this because I went back in for another box, but they didn't have it yet. But they did have just ten random rolls and... Um, and she asked me if I wanted them, and I was hesitant because I didn't really think that, you know, I would find anything. But I just went ahead and took them anyways, those ten rolls. Two were uh, bank-wrapped, and then the uh, the other eight were um, customer-wrapped. And I couldn't believe it, but lo and behold, it, there was one 1966 40% silver half dollar in one of those customer-wrapped uh, rolls. But there it is. I couldn't believe it when I found it. There's only one, but you know, one is better than none. So let's just go ahead and jump right in and see what we can find today. Lots of varieties to look for, while also looking for, um, you know, silver, obviously. All right, let's see how I can keep this open. Let's just leave it like that, I suppose. All right, look at both ends. I don't, doesn't look like there's uh, silver there, but uh, let's just go ahead and take a look. We did find one variety in the uh, the first roll. I mean, the first ten rolls. One minor uh, 1971 uh, Denver Double Diverse, and one um, you know what? Let's just do let's do it this way. I'm gonna unwrap ten with you guys here um, while we're recording right now, and see if we can find any silver. If we do not. Then I will go through those uh, those ten rolls off off camera and see if I can find any varieties. And then if I do, we will recap at the end and cover you know whether I found a, a variety or not, or just you know what's in here that's different or what's mint state that shouldn't be. So let's do it that way. So just uh, oh, rest it all up. I don't, did not see any silver in there. I did see an interesting 72. It will uh, maybe uh, take a look at that at the end. So that's three down. <clears throat> I looked at the tops. I didn't see any enders that were silver, but I didn't look on the uh, the other side. I didn't flip them around. And no silver. Oh man. Really try not to uh, touch the uh, these coins at all on the ends. So roll number five. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Um, and for those of you who are new to the channel, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. So. I didn't see any, let's see. No silver. All right. It's uh, five rolls. This is the sixth one. And no. Roll number seven. Everybody's having a great day today. It's just really hot where I'm at. Other than that, that's uh, everything's great. All right, no silver. Uh, really nice reading on that one, but I don't see silver. So I'm interested to see what year that one is. Three. Oh, okay, this is uh, we got two rolls left here. This is the uh, eighth right here. It's 
Oh, is that silver? No, it isn't. Darn it. Else. Fools me. Look like it was, but it isn't. Just a dirty rim. I think sometimes these uh, 40 percenters can be tricky. No, it's an 80. Bummer. All right, one more. And then, uh, I'll go through them and see if I can find anything interesting in there. Last one. Both ends look uh, clad. silver <clears throat> all right now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the uh, the video and I'm gonna go through these real quick and see if I can find any varieties give me one second all right welcome back so I went through all ten rolls and I didn't yeah we didn't find any silver but remember that really nice rim I said I saw well it actually belonged to this 2007 uh, San Francisco proof it's a uh unfortunately it has those uh fingerprints on there which i don't think it will be possible to get those off um the only time i would really be wanting to find film on a coin like a uh like a skin you know like a layer of dirt or so a layer of dirt or something you know for that fingerprint to sit on i mean i can i can try to get it off but I don't think it, it will come off as as we all know fingerprints are very acidic and the longer they sit on the coin they actually begin to the oils from our fingers begin to eat into the surface of the coin itself and etch that fingerprint permanently into it so I don't think that I'll be able to get that off but that's a pretty cool find you know it's uh uh, what do you, I would call that dimple almost, um, cameo for sure on the obverse, the, uh, obverse, uh, also cameo. So, uh, I don't, I don't know if I would call it a, a deep, deep cameo, but it is cameo. Really cool find. I didn't check to see if there are any varieties for that yet, but I will. I also found a 2021. How interesting is that? Fortunately, it has those uh, roller marks on the front of it. But a, uh, it's a 2021 Denver. A uh, very sweet find. The only one of the box so far. Um, with those uh, mar roller marks on there, um, I don't know. Either it'll either it would get details or. Um, Yeah, it'd be details, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, third really, really cool find. Very nice coin, almost PL. It would be this uh, 2014 Denver. Very, you know, really mirroring there, especially on the reverse. Really clean surfaces on it, too. Very proof-like for a... Um, for a Denver so that would be the third nicest well I guess that would be the first nicest honestly the uh, the 21's got the uh, the roller marks on it the 2007 um, proof has got fingerprints all over it so I would call this the first nicer one and then I did find a pair of uh, 72's that are still either in mint state or close very close to it this is the Denver Very nice uh, coin. The Philadelphia looks much better. I would guess that this uh, Philadelphia is probably definitely in mint state still. I'm not too sure about the Denver. I did check both of these for varieties. And uh, they are not. Very nice coins. And for the fourth nicer uh, piece would be this, uh, this 71 Denver. Just a, a few uh, touches there on the surface, some bag marks there. I can't tell if I have to look at that again and see if that's, you know, actually marks in the coin itself or just, you know, something else. 
And I believe it was also a uh, double die burst. So we'll get a close up of that one. Very nice coin. So that was, that's it right there. So those are, you know, the nicer ones that I found in there. I did find two 271s that do have, uh, exhibit a little bit of uh, doubling on the obverse. So we'll, we'll take a look at those. This one right here. This is a uh, 72 Denver. I think this one is the, um, the no FG. You can see that it's an EDS no FG on it. The designer initials there in the uh, above the uh, eagle's tail feathers starting to go with that die fatigue and if you know quite a few strikes later that's completely gone you don't even see it anymore but that's that was that one so let's get a, a look at these two uh, double dies here the seven these two seventy ones and see if we can pick them up on the uh, the microscope all right give me a second all right, let's take a look at this uh, first 1971 uh, Denver. It's the uh, the more circulated uh, coin. If you look in that, uh, the L, uh, right here in this L, uh, little, no, right there in the L, you can see that there's, you know, another one over top of it. There's a split there at the, uh, right there. And then uh, you see a little bit of it in the, uh, the I and N um, on the inside of that I. Just like the last one we saw, I think it's pretty much it's probably the same variety. And um, oh, I apologize for that. And then that last T and trust on the inside, right here. That's also um, there's also a little bit of a spread there. You can you know see a little split in that T. And a uh, little, no, I guess not so much in the T though, but that's the uh, the first one. So let's get the nice one in here. This one has a lot of die fatigue to it, so I might not even be able to pick it up on here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Yeah, no, too much die fatigue. But the uh, the T is obvious. And flip it upside down on this lighting. There you go. You can see it in the uh, T right there. And then again in the L. Same spot in the L. So the L, the I and N again, and then the uh, the T and Liberty, all doubled. So hopefully we can find a uh, a, a stronger one in this box. You know we've only done uh, twenty rolls, so I'm hoping to find you know a stronger one. And then uh, we'll get a good look at it with this uh, microscope here. And uh, that's it for today. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next 10.